This is a cat. In this particular instance, I am the observer, the cat is the observed. Now, when I do that, the observer, the observed, I do not become the observed. I do not become a cat by pointing out that Mandarin is a cat. That's just what it is. There's a difference, there's a separation between observer and observed. Now you're probably thinking, well, why is he telling us this? Everyone knows that. In fact, I would imagine that most people that have aged beyond the point of object permanence understand that there is a separation between the observer and the observed. But I have encountered here on YouTube in specific and on the internet in general, that that is actually not true. That many people seem to be under the, the delusion that if you observe something and you comment on that observation, that you become the thing. What do I mean by that? Bigotry. If you point out that something is bigoted, a law, a policy, an attitude, a Facebook post, a speech, doesn't matter what. If you point out that something is an act of bigotry, people will mysteriously call you a bigot. They will say, well, you're the real bigot, which of course is just projection. Um, if you call someone else a bigot because they've committed an act of bigotry, and you just have to quote their words, or the, what they, whether they write them, or they speak them, or the cartoons they draw, or the videos they make, or what have you, um, some people will say, well, no, no, you're the bigot. That somehow, by being the observer of an act of bigotry, you become a bigot. I've also heard that, you know, well, you're just intolerant. Well, you, that, that is correct. I am intolerant. I am intolerant of intolerance. And I think that any sane person should be intolerant of intolerance. That a liberal progressive worldview that says, well, I'm just not going to accept intolerance in the world around me, and I'm going to point out when people are being intolerant, that that's healthy. And while I am freely admitting that I am intolerant of intolerance, it does not mean I am committing an act of intolerance against anyone else. I am intolerant of their actions, of their words, of their policies, their laws, what have you. I can feel sympathy for the person. In fact, I, I make an effort to feel compassion for people. I make, particularly, the, and the more I don't agree with the person, even if I don't want to have anything to do with them, I really strive to feel compassion for the person. And I can still be utterly intolerant of their words and their actions. But the person, I want nothing but the best for. I want them to be healthy. And if they are espousing bigotry and intolerance, they aren't. Um, and I encounter this all the time. I've been encountering it today, multiple instances today at the time of this filming. I have encountered people with the attitude that because I've pointed out that an organization endorses discrimination, bigotry, misogyny, prejudice, and hate, that that makes me a bigot. But it doesn't. It just makes me the observer. That's all. And there is a separation between the observer and the observed. Now, I've actually had someone else say, well, if a bigot is, says something, says the sky is blue, the bigot is still right. That's an amazing form of compartmentization. You're, telling, you're saying that if a bigot states reality, that their other attitudes must be reality. That's the, that's the, that's the kind of inference there. That if they say one thing is real, then something else must be real. And they're inching you towards the idea that their bigoted attitudes are real. Or that their observation of reality should somehow be should somehow validate them as a person, and we should just ignore their bigotry. And I'm saying we shouldn't. We shouldn't ignore their bigotry. It doesn't matter whether they state reality or not because you know that the person is actually not discussing the bigot 
observing that the sky is blue. They want you to believe that the bigots' attitudes about society, about racial issues, about religion, about gender dynamics, about these other far more complex social issues are also true just because they say them. Because if they can convince you that a bigot saying the sky is blue is okay, then maybe they can convince you that the bigot saying that, well, you know, plaid people just aren't as smart as white people. Or, well, women maybe don't deserve to get as paid as much as men do. In the instance I was discussing, we were discussing Thomas Sowell, uh, S-O-W-E-L-L, -L, I think it's Sowell, I think that's how you say it, um, who is a theistic bigot. Interestingly, when I called him a theistic bigot, the person immediately said that I was a bigot towards deists. Now, if anyone who knows me or has been a frequent viewer of my channel, I'm a theist. So I'm not bigoted against Thomas Sowell for being a theist. I'm intolerant of his theistic bigotry. And there's a difference there. And somehow it gets lost that if I say theistic bigot, the person makes the leap that I am speaking out against theism while I am speaking against theistic bigotry. They are committing an act of straw man and they are putting words into my mouth. They are saying I they are they are they are discussing something that I did not say. Now, I have said that organized religion is a pox upon humanity, and I believe that. But that's because of the hierarchical structure of organized religion is a form of the particular variety of social conservatism. And I'm opposed to social conservatism. And organized religion is just the most blatant, most obvious, and apparently the easiest one to, to, to arrive at, because there seems to be a whole lot of it. Um, there are um, Buddhists out there murdering people right now, and you, Buddha did not lay down a, a, a worldview that endorsed violence. No, the social conservatism is present besides the religion. It's just that religion is often used as a great sales method of getting social, conservative, social conservatism into people's lives and into their worldviews. So, that's a cat. I'm not a cat. And if you can't tell that difference, then I don't think we really have anything to discuss.